Chapman University recently completed its fourth annual Chapman University Survey of American Fears 2017. The survey asked respondents about 80 different fears across a broad range of categories including fears about the government, the environment, terrorism, health, natural disasters and finances, as well as fears of public speaking, spiders, heights, ghosts and many other personal anxieties. In addition to the set of fears examined in previous ways, the survey team took a closer look at one particular fear-related phenomena, fear of extremism. In its fourth year, the annual Chapman University Survey of American Fears included more than 1,207 adult participants from across the nation and all walks of the life, that is a direct slice of the American population according to census data. The 2017 survey data is organized into four basic categories personal fears, natural disasters, paranormal fears, and fear of extremism. Corruption of government officials is uh, top fear in 2017. In previous years, also, the same fear was the top fear. American Health Care Act, that is, Trump Care, is the new fear taking second place in the top 10 fears list. The U.S. will be involved in another world war and North Korea using weapons are another new fears taking place in the top 10 list. Most striking about American fear in 2017 is that environmental fears figure more prominently than ever before. Environmental issues never cracked the top 10 fears in previous surveys. Water pollution ranks third overall followed closely by drinking water quality. A majority of Americans, that is more than 53%, fear pollution of oceans, rivers and streams. The fact that water pollution has become such a prominent fear in 2017 may be traced to the reversal of environmental policies of the Obama administration and Americans fear climate change and air pollution. Americans believe that both Islamic extremists and white supremacists represent a threat to national security. Three out of five Americans report they are very afraid or afraid that Islamic extremists, jihadists, are a threat to national security. After Islamic extremists, uh, white supremacists are the only group that a majority of Americans view as a threat to national security. Nearly half of all Americans, that is 48%, fear North Korea using nuclear weapons and 41% fear a nuclear attack generally. The prospect of a nuclear meltdown has made 31% afraid or very afraid. 48% fear being the victim of terrorism and 44% fear a terror attack in general. The majority of Americans, that is 82%, are familiar with the slogan, if you see something, say something. However, most Americans are unaware of what constitutes suspicious behavior that should be reported. The fear of being the victim of a mass or random shooting is on the minds of 31% and 35% report being familiar with the advice to run, hide, fight, which is the recommended preparedness slogan for a mass or random shooting. Americans fear many natural disasters and 68% believe natural disasters are capable of harming them or their property. Only 38% Americans have heard the advice don't wait, communicate, make your emergency plan today. Less than half, that is 41%, actually have an emergency plan in place for their households and 26% have such a plan for their pets. The 2017 Chapman University Survey of American Fears includes a battery of items on paranormal beliefs. Currently, the most common paranormal belief in the United States is that ancient advanced civilizations such as Atlantis once existed with more than half of respondents, that is 55%, agreeing or strongly agreeing with this statement. Slightly more than half uh, believe that places can be haunted by spirits. More than a third believe that the aliens visited Earth in our ancient past and more than a fourth believe aliens have come to Earth in modern times. The survey also looked at the personal characteristics uh, that are significantly associated with higher levels of paranormal belief. Simply put, the person with the highest number of paranormal belief in the United States as of 2017 will tend to be a lower income female living in a rural area in the western states.